not. Samantha Markle condemns Harry and Meghan's nasty plot terrifying Philip before he passed away. Meghan Markle's sister Samantha said it seemed like Prince Philip had a rough time in the months following Prince Harry and his wife leaving the UK for the US. Meghan Markle's sister Samantha has said she thinks it seems to have been a heartbreaking journey for the royal family in the lead-up to Prince Philip's death. Samantha claims the royal family were subjected to racial mudslinging before the death of the Duke of Edinburgh, adding Harry and Meghan's comments gave Philip a rough time before he passed away. The racial allegations stemmed from the famous Oprah Winfrey interview, in which Meghan made a number of claims about her time as a royal. One of those include alleging an unnamed member of the family asked about Archie's skin color before he was born. Speaking exclusively to the Daily Star, their actions against the royal family and the racial mudslinging that took place in the media was so hurtful and egregious that you can't take back the spoken word. But there are some things that you can see you can forgive, but it seems to be an ongoing thing, one insult after the other after the other, and people can only take so much before the impression is solidified. In the interview, Prince Harry said he was in regular contact with his family, however Prince Philip died in April 2021, having not seen his grandson in person since his move to the US in January 2020. Following Prince Philip's memorial, Samantha said, especially for this memorial and after everything that has transpired, Prince Philip certainly seemed to have a rough time in his last days. Watching the royal family being attacked in the media by Meghan and Harry, all things considered, it seems to have been a heartbreaking journey for the royal family. The mum of three went on to say, maybe Harry feels bad about that but the least he could have done was to show up, pay respect. If he and Meghan are such humanitarians, you can't take back the spoken word but the onus is on him to bridge that gap and show up humbly and show some remorse at a minimum. Harry and his family didn't attend the memorial service at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday, March 29, due to security fears. Samantha added, to put something as petty as security ahead of the obvious ethical, humane military and royal respect, it doesn't make sense, it's sad. The former army serviceman is currently taking legal action against the Home Office who stripped him of his security from the Met Police after stepping down as a working royal. The Duke wants to bring his son Archie and baby daughter Lilibet to visit from the US, but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, a legal representative previously said. A spokesperson for the pair said they fund a private security team but their own security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed in the UK. Harry's team claim that his private security guards do not have access to the same level of intelligence that security provided by the UK state would be able to access. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry didn't attend the memorial service at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday, March 29, due to security fears. Prince Philip died in April 2021, having not seen his grandson in person since his move to the US in January 2020. A Fox and Friends host previously linked Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to the death of Prince Philip just minutes after the announcement by Buckingham Palace, saying their recent public comments had evidently added to the 99-year-old's stress. Brian Kilmeade immediately raised the issue of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex damning interview with the US TV host, which aired when the Queen's husband was in hospital for heart surgery and treatment for an infection. Mr Kilmeade said, there are reports that, Philip, was enraged after the interview and the fallout from the interview with Oprah Winfrey, so here he is trying to recover and he's hit with that.